We end tonight with a beginning. The start of a look we'll be taking at young innovators. We found some extraordinary young people looking to change the world. Up first, a teenager from Colorado. Anyone ordering her to clean up her room might hinder the development of alternative fuels. Three point one four one five nine two six five. Like many teenagers, Sarah Volts loves a piece of pie. Although not the snack kind, the math kind. Seven four nine four four five nine. This high school senior memorized the first eighty digits of pi, a number that's endless, back in sixth grade. Now this seventeen-year-old's intellect is attracting some prominent attention. Take this week, for instance. We've got Sarah Volz, who's breeding new types of algae. Where's Sarah? She stores this in a lab in her bedroom. So, Sarah, you have very supportive parents. The president wasn't kidding. Volz has a state-of-the-art laboratory under her bed in her home in Colorado Springs. I've been interested in increasing oil yields of algae for、uh, four years. There, she's trying to develop a way to convert algae into an alternative fuel source. It's where every scientist keeps their lab, right? Yeah.、Um, for the most of my growth experiments, they have to be really closely monitored, and I'm, sometimes I'm sampling every day or even more than once a day. For that, I need something a little closer to home. This isn't some kid playing in a room. Sarah Volz. Sarah Volz just won the Intel Science Talent Search. Where'd you win? Um, one hundred thousand dollars. The money should help with tuition at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Not only is it just really hardcore, you know, intellectual and hardcore science, it's also just really welcoming and fun.、Huh. So you've got this really important reaction. You've got carbon dioxide going into the cell. Volts will be a freshman here next fall. So tell me what you're going to do with your life. I'm thinking I want to go into academia. So do basically what I'm doing, except with better labs. Not that the one under her bed has limited her success so far, or her passion. I mean, as human beings, we are scientists because we're curious. We question. That's what science is. And Sarah's talents in the classroom are not strictly limited to being a student. She's not bad as a teacher either, writing tests and preparing members of her high school's science Olympiad team.